How's it going, Jackson Mates? This is Miss Charles. We're back with Tomb Raider number deuce. I already think I made that joke, but fuck it. It's a good joke, so I'm doing it twice. Anyway, previously, I got scared the shit out of by a man. Look, he's even dead there. I think he seems nice. Sport. He's a little starfish. Little gay starfish. Little fucking white shirt fucking gay starfish. <laughs> he's dead now. Um, I dealt with that shit. Now I've got to continue through this, I want to say dungeon. It's not really a dungeon though, is it? It's just a, a really an inconvenient place. Yep, okay, what does that do? Alright, I think that rearranged the chandeliers, so <laughs> I can have fun with that in a minute. But, uh, I'm more curious about the other things in this area. Whoa! I like nearly dying. That was very attractive in a in a female like Laura Croft near death experiences. Okay, so maybe I had a bit of coffee, but it wasn't too much. Okay, um, I oh is that has that there just been opened? Was that the way I came? That might be the way I came actually. All right, fine. So I need to go down there, and I think what happened was. Well, either something's opened or something's being rearranged. How the fuck do I get down here? <laughs> I don't know where to... Oh, no. Oh, no. Alright, maybe I could go to the left and maybe get that chandelier and just jump, jump, jump. Jump, rabbit, jump, rabbit, jump, jump, jump. Here comes a Spitfire with his... Uh, I'll mix those two up. Right, um... Yes. Okay, good. So I need to get that key. Maybe I maybe I can get it now. Yeah, these chandeliers have been rearranged. They at least feel like they've been rearranged. Cool. I fell into a burning ring of fire there. Don't know why I'm quoting that song, I just felt like saying that. Okay. Yeah, so I can get that key now, and I should be able to then go down to that little area I jumped down, I think. I can't think what else I'd do down there. Right, and yes, good. Grab, that's mine. Well, I knew you didn't have to, like, fucking jump from that floor. Because that just would have been way too high. L look at this shit. Fucking jump for it, and art, oh, you can't reach it. I knew the game would do that. That's why I didn't fucking bother the first time round. Alright. Now I've got to figure out where to go. Need that key for something. This area is locked. I think I need to go through the area I was before. Maybe I shouldn't have jumped down, but eh, we'll see about that. Can I go through this bit? Does it lead anywhere? No, it does not. Well, why would it? Why would the game be helpful for once? Hmm. Okay, but I think this key must be for that door I was at before. I just don't know how to get there. Well, then maybe, well, I say I don't know how to get there, and then I find this shit. I don't know why I thought that'd be hard. I don't, I don't know why I thought this game would be difficult. So logically, I can just go there, jump across, and I'll be fine. I still don't know what that area is for, though. Like, because that's something different, isn't it? I think. I don't know. Fine, whatever. Jump for my love. Good. Then I go over there. Hopefully, the, I don't need to like press a lever again. I don't know, but I've got to be careful here. This bit could hurt me. Or severely injure me. Or kill me. One of the three. Or I could just let me go. That's cool. Alright, that's fine then. Then I go down this bit. Here, a nice little one tenth of a second of a scream. Well, okay, maybe it was more like a second of a scream, but you know. Go to the wrecked books bit. The wrecked books section of the library. The, the, the drunk books. And I should be able to use this. Okay, cool. And it even said library key, so I guess I could have figured that out for myself. Yay! Where are the bitches? I get a shotgun out just in case something happens. Uh, but I've only got nine bullets. That's disappointing. Well, that's fine. I've had a nice playthrough of, like, good guns so far. So, oh, there's the man. No. No. Oh, I miss a good shotgun. 
I also miss having health. Now I have like heaps of that. I, heaps? Do I have heaps? No, I have two small packs. Well, I don't know why I thought I had heaps. I must have been delirious on some form of drugs. You know. Is it going to be another man here? Is it going to be a dog? Is it going to be a cat? I'd love to be attacked by a cat. That would really change things up. And I mean, not, not like a Jaguar. Jesus, that scared me. No. Am I dead? Please die. Please die. Thank you. Now give me my health pack back. I'm serious. <laughs> I, I didn't expect you guys to just run through the window like that. I thought you'd be mature, civilized people about this bullshit. It's good thing I have the shotgun out. Oh, you fucking... Oh, I can't pick up that small Uzi ammo because this guy's blended into the fucking floor. Alright, fine. Well, you know what? They're definitely going to have to burn you when it comes to your funeral. Alright, fine. Whatever. So what's even here? There's a door which I just kind of saw. Yeah, a decent rhyme there, or a half rhyme or whatever. Oh, and it just opens. Oh, it's just the way out. Okay. I, I think. What's that meant to be on the left there? I'll save the games. I don't have to deal with those particular guys again. I know I'm saving left and right, but that's because I don't trust Venice. Venice is scarier than going to fucking the Great Wall of China in this game. Right, what's under here? Anything I can use? Anything cuddly? No. Just a, just a random dead end. Wait, what was that? What was that? I saw that. I... It was a platform. But does this... Oh, fucking mice. I'm not going to shotgun a mouse. Might as well just stick to my normal pistols for now. For now. Alright, so that mouse was just a waste of time. I was going to insult Pixar fans and then say like Ratatouille, but Ratatouille is actually a masterpiece and better than anything I produce on this channel. So... Uh, so, the opposite of Ratatouille, that mouse was. What the fuck is that? Oh, it's a TNT thing. What the hell am I going to need that for? Okay, I don't think this is a going backwards. I think this is a new area. But I don't know what that TNT is meant to blow up. So, go figure. Oh, okay, and this is getting higher up here. Alright, alright, so stuff is happening. I think I'm going to run into a man in a minute. I know one's waiting for me. One is anticipating my arrival. He's got his best mask on. He's brushed his teeth. Expecting me to, you know, bend over for him. Not going to happen. I think I saw him as well. <laughs> I think I saw him. No, you are here. You're hiding. Stop giving me a false sense of security. I don't like it when you men do that. You always do that. Uh -huh. Well, cool. Thanks for the secret. I didn't really need it, though. Remember when secrets used to give you stuff? Like, you know, health packs. Those dragons are fucking useless. They don't do anything. They don't mean anything. It's kind of annoying, actually. It makes me miss Tomb Raider 1. I mean, don't get me wrong. Actually thinking about the two Tomb Raiders, if you want to say there's not much difference, well, from the looks... I kind of get what you mean, but I don't know. When you play the game, there's a lot more you can do, and it's like... I don't know. It's, it's such a more intricate, well-thought-out Tomb Raider, and it's still got that classic feel, which I love. The issue I have is just the fact that, well... <sighs> secrets just aren't rewarding like they used to be. That's like the one thing I miss from Tomb Raider 1. But the levels in Tomb Raider 2 are much more beautiful. I actually think overall Tomb Raider 2 is a better game. It's just like, you know, I kind of, I kind of want to be able to survive the game. I'm working on the bare minimum. All right, so there's nothing there I can use yet. Um, I'm not going to worry about my men or saving. There must be something over here, something hiding in the crevice of my mind. I wish I knew that windmill song about the corners or the windmills of my mind or some shit. Haven't heard that in a while. Got the hair on my nose, trying to make my life horrible. Okay, so there's a little bit I can go up there. If this were Prince of Persia, I would, like, run up the wall. Oh, or I could just climb the bookcases. Well, I guess something like that had to happen. 
Ah, uh, mice trying to ruin my life. They're clearly male mice because they're little dick suckers. Well, they, 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 they're small gay mice, okay? <laughs> That's my conclusion based on them being dicks. I mean, gay guys aren't dicks. Some gay guys aren't dicks. <laughs> hey, I've met a lot of gay guys back in my time. For you girls and straight guys out there, gay guys are lovely. But for other gays, it's just kind of like cats, to be honest. You're either mating or you're just not getting along. Right, yeah, now I've got to deal with this guy. Got to get this guy's agenda. God, every time I try and stock power health packs, these guys just take it away from me. Right, I should be able to clear him, though. If I'm quick, agile, and on the mark, which I never am, but I'm going to try. No, no, thank you. Do you have a health pack? Do you have health insurance? Do you have anything? Fuck's sake. <sighs> All right, well, we shed a nice sigh there, Laura, didn't we? So that man kind of distracted me. I don't know what to... Oh, okay. We unlocked the door. I was wondering what we were doing. No, we didn't because that's the... Play with. What did I just do? Because that man literally just distracted me. Now I don't know. We did a switch of some kind. Was there one in the... No, because that other area was a secret. Was there something over here I was meant to do? I, I genuinely wasn't paying attention. Or did we unlock a bit because that man came through and was like, Oh, look, I'm going to erase Laura's memory. Just like, just like, he just, he literally just did that to me. What the fuck was unlocked? What did he do? What did I do even? Sorry. What he did was ruin everything. Why did I don't know why I did because I forgot. What's this there? Oh, okay. So I think this area has been unlocked. I had to sing that because I wasn't sure. Yeah, this looks all right. Yeah, this looks new. This looks brand new. Brand spanking new. All right, so what's over here? Some nice orange gay trees or whatever they are. Uh, a locked door. Okay, so the outside area isn't much to gawk at. Where else have we got? I can climb these trees. The <laughs> trees, books, sorry. I, don't know, I was thinking of the orange trees, okay? I'd love to climb the orange trees. But that's not going to happen. Yep, cool. Get up there. Probably get interrupted by yet another man who doesn't want me to have a good life. Okay, I can climb up those. I can go up there. I just... Do I have to run and jump? Okay, I didn't want to. That's the thing. Go up here. Use my little leggies. Careful they don't, like accidentally touch the wrong book and then fall out. I mean, I need to look out for my book, but, you know, you actually have to look out for books here, Laura. Okay, more music. I don't know if the music is a good or a bad thing in this game. I know it's a bit more dramatic. Okay, I don't know what's behind me, and this game might have just put me in a bad position. Okay, well, if I drop down, I'm going to die. So I either risk jumping. Maybe I can jump forward. Oh, that works. Okay. But am I meant to go this way? No, because it's the way I was at before. For fuck's sake. So why did music random? Oh, do I need to... Right, I need to go left. Great, now i got to go all the way back up again. <sighs> Fuck's sake. This is dumb. This is stupid. Maybe there's something I missed here. Maybe there's something that could help me just fucking... Maybe there's a health pack. You know, that's what I'm really hoping for. No men, no, no intricate areas, no fucking random green dragon. I wish you know what that slashing was as well, though, to be honest. Because that noise is just irritating me. And that's just a waste of time, so I don't know why I'm going that way. Go down. Yep, yeah, that's all good. I mean, that's a cute little detail, the library ladder, but still. Yep, yeah, fine. Go there. Don't know what that window's meant to be for. Is it just for light? I mean, I'm actually, I'm grateful to have light in this game, trust me. Because that, that's rare to come across now. That's such a commodity in this game. Alright, so I'm back up. 
I jump through here. No, no. Uh, I'll go to that random jump thing, don't I? Okay. We. Then. Just run and jump that. And then is there a new area on the right? Yay or nay? Oh, oh it's a nice little house. Oh, that's lovely. That's heartwarming. So the man comes out. Man, I know you're in there. I can't see you though, so. Oh, but that's a lovely little house. You know what? I'm going to end the episode on this lovely little house because it's so it's nice and humble. It's not going to hurt you. It's not going to do anything that it, it, it doesn't want you to do. And I'm looking forward to seeing what's in that house in the next episode. But yeah, if you want to play the game for yourself. Discover this house, see what's inside, maybe have a nice cup of, of tea or, or coffee. There will be a link to the game in the description down below. Without further ado, subscribe to the channel until next time. See ya!